I'm Rick Smith, and this is Labor History in Two. On this day in labor history, the year was 2001. That was the day that Thomas Morris Jr. died from breathing in anthrax. A week earlier, he had been exposed to the deadly poison when an envelope containing the powdery substance was opened at the mail distribution center where he worked. Thomas Morris was a member of the American Postal Workers Union. His union brother, Joseph Kersine, died two days later. Both men worked at the U.S. Postal Service Brentwood Processing and Distribution Center in Washington, D.C. The poisoned letters were addressed to Senators Tom Daschle and Patrick Leahy. More postal workers at a distribution center in New Jersey also fell ill from exposure to anthrax poisoned mail. In total, 22 people were sickened by anthrax that fall from letters addressed to politicians and news outlets. In addition to those injured, five people died, including a seven-month-old infant who was visiting NBC News in New York City with his mother who worked there. Coming the month after the September 11th attacks, the anthrax poisoning sent another wave of fear of terrorism throughout the United States. The Brentwood Distribution Center was closed down for decontamination until December 2003. When it reopened, the facility was renamed for the two fallen postal workers. The next year, Senator Joe Lieberman gave an address to the APWU. He said, quote, the postal workers who were exposed to anthrax and still got the mail out and kept our system running. They are proud union members. I know I'll never forget that, and America won't forget that. All of you at the APWU deserve our respect and our support. One person suspected of the poisonings committed suicide, and the case was closed. No one was ever convicted of the crimes. For more information, go to laborhistoryin2.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at laborhistoryin2.